in wrestling, the action is only as good as the storyline. The strongest story, the battle of an underdog. Matt Capitelli, the fan favorite who fights to the last. Matt Capitelli, dust your shoulder off, why don't you just take it to Charlie Haas? To fans and friends, everyone, everyone loved Matt. Matt Capitelli, the thrill seeker! He had it. Beyond just uh, what an entertainer would have. Oh, and a drop kick into the chest! He's the best. Genuinely wonderful human being. But now, a new challenger is on the horizon. The most aggressive there is. Uh, grade four. Capitelli's most formidable. Glioblastoma. Foe. Which is yet. Ironically, the most common, but also the most deadly form of brain cancer. <laughs> Are you telling a story with your face? You got to react to action. Capitelli's a trainer for Louisville based Ohio Valley Wrestling. Trying to start with your body. His story is a sequel, a rematch. Capitelli's first battle with brain cancer in 2005 was a drama filled fight that played out as the world watched. Man. He won a reality show two years earlier and a WWE contract. It was assigned to OVW in Louisville as a developmental trainee. But Capitelli never made the call up to a full time spot on the WWE roster. Setbacks kept him back in OVW. First a broken leg, then a concussion, and then. Oh! This fateful blow. He got knocked out. When he came to, he just didn't have, uh, didn't have all his faculties. So Al and myself sent him to the hospital. I hadn't even thought I had a concussion. I felt completely fine. I thought they were going to look fine, nothing, go home. A team of doctors comes back and say we find a mass in your brain. We don't know what it is. I'm not going to be able to live up to what this stands for. The cancer ended his in-ring career. And I pray personally that I can make an impact. The same faith that carried Capitelli through 10 years of remission. In Jesus' name, amen. Now has him believing in a miracle. Yeah, this is a this is a significant tumor. In June, surgeons removed 90% of the mass pressing here on Capitelli's skull. A diagnosis of cancer like this is not a war. It's a military campaign. In other words, you fight battles, then you have to replenish, then you reorg, then you fight again. But there's it's a journey. 13,000 people die from cancer like this each year. It is terminal. And doctors say only 5% of patients survive. Five years. I'm gonna lock you down so I can't run from So far, the journey's left Capitelli with the effects of Parkinson's, but not the disease. It slowed his speech, emotional response, motor skills, and function. At times from the outside, you see the trauma inside his brain. And it was about a week before this happened, or a week after this happened that we were supposed to debut on Monday Night Raw. And remind me of your question, because I just blanked out. Capitelli won't tap out. Ever the wrestler at 38 years old, He's trying to regain what he's lost and tagged in a new partner for the battle. Trying a new device, it's called Optune, and what it is, it's basically an electrode filled uh, adhesive bandages that fit all across my head. The Optune looks like a swim cap, but works to stop the tumor from growing. Basically prevent brain tumor cells from dividing. It stays on 18 hours a day, in effect, slowing time in his brain on the cancer cells. For Capitelli, treatment is like a four corners match with allies on every side of the ring. The love of his wife, his faith, science, and... This business is his, is his passion. I think it's his therapy. On this night, Capitelli is once again the star of the show. Hey, hey, Former hey. students, 30. friends, even some foes gather for a benefit wrestling event in his honor. Matt Capitelli's story, though it seems unfortunate, I want it to be portrayed as a story of hope, you know, unending hope. Fans around the world have formed Team Cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of you might not understand how much 
this moment means to me. Rally behind their champion, raising more than $30,000 to help him with medical expenses. Because it's times like this that you need to know who's in the corner. We got your back, my friend. We got your back. No doubt, Capitelli's back is on the ropes. When I do get through this, That's when right. I do finish this. But he wrestles with life the same way he did in the ring, believing he will triumph one more.